Well, every first Friday of the month, Bemidji hosts an art walk, showcasing work from local artists. For this week's In Focus, our Brenda Mack met with a Bemidji native who is making her way to Africa. This was a really amazing day, and there's about 250 wild horses in this area. Jessie May Ranallo has been painting pet portraits for nearly a decade, and more recently, photographing wild horses all over the country. Some of the very first wild horses that I photographed. But soon, she'll be starting a new chapter in her life, moving to Uganda, Africa. This show is a farewell to the people I know and love, and it's also about following your heart to where it's leading. It all started with a heartbreaking loss to the love of her life. Almost two years ago, my fiance was killed in a car accident. And when that happened, my whole life just completely changed, came to a halt. Since then, Jessie started searching for purpose after visiting Uganda three times in the past year. I've set up an organization and working with widows and children. The Joy Collective will help and empower widows. They were struggling to feed themselves and their families. So we decided to focus on food production. And love and mentor children. For all of these kids, they'll be the first person in their families that have ever been to college. But they haven't even necessarily used a fork let alone a computer. Though moving nearly 8,000 miles away, Jessie says it's right where she needs to be. I've fallen in love with the place. I've fallen in love with the people. And it's not just about helping them get a project started. I, I consider them family. We've become family. She will not stop painting nor capturing moments through her lens. I feel, at, I feel comfortable in my skin. And I think that's because it's where I'm meant to be, and that's what happens. Her story inspiring strangers, friends, and families. It's really inspiring. I wish more people had her kind of heart and compassion. Just letting people know about her and, um, you know, giving as we can. I think we can all make a difference. It's hard. It's really hard work. But um, every challenge and every difficulty that's come up because of it has been so completely worth it. I would do it a thousand times over. Yeah. For this week's In Focus, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.